Welcome back to another race breakdown. I'm Kevin Sully, and we've been doing pen relays throwbacks recently, but now the 22 pen relays are in the books, and we can do a race from this year's meet. And the one I picked for this week is that Olympic Development Women's 600. We can say this was the most anticipated individual race of the entire pen relays because it featured a thing Mo and Ajay Wilson in a off distance race, but one that was perfectly suited for a thing Mo's strengths. And the reason I say that, not difficult to figure out. You go and you look at where she sits with her PBs at the 400 and at the 800. So right now, 49.57 is her 400 meter PB, 800, 155.04. And you look at the 600 meter all time list, Caster Semenya, 121.77. Wilson, who's in this race, the fastest time ever by an American, 122.39. So going back to Semenya, she's run an 800 meter race faster than Mo has so far. But Mo's at 400 PB actually better. So it was reason to believe that we were going to see history in this race. And the splits to look out for 27.2 per 200 would get it done for that world record, bring you through at about 54 mid. And this thing was out strong with Wilson at the front. Credit to her for getting this pace going. We know that she likes to drive the pace, but there was no rabbit in this race. And you see them cross through 200. Let's look at the official split on the Pen Relays website. Looks like 2606. For a thing, Mo Wilson 2601. So pretty solid through 200 meters with Mo tucking into second, Wilson trying to keep the pace going. But you can notice here, see, starts to bunch up a little bit. And that's because the second 200 is actually going to slow down a little bit. Don't blame them because usually most of these women, they're used to just running 800 meters. You get it hard for 200, settle in, and then make a push. This caused things to bunch up a little bit. You see, Natoya Gould. On the inside, on the rail, Nia Akins, Olivia Baker, all getting back into it as they are approaching the 400-meter mark. Ajay Wilson still up front, and then Mo right on her shoulder. She played this race perfectly. So they go through 400, 56, first 200, on pace. Second 200, they slow down. But then watch this close for a thing, Mo. And this looked very familiar if you watched any of her 800-meter races last year. Takes command, coming off this curve, about 130 meters to go. And to look at the separation she puts between everybody else, just in a matter of a few strides. Ghoul is able to move up into second. Wilson's going to drift back in the pack after doing all that leading. And the lead just grows and grows and grows over these final meters until there's nobody really else who's close. She's going to cross the line, 122.75 which is good for the fourth best in history for a thing, Mo. We'll look at that all-time list right here. Just a tad behind third, 122.63 shows 122.74. But if you're looking at that split, here's something to, to keep in mind here. 56.69, as I mentioned, 122.74. First 200 and last 200 were pretty similar. It was just that middle 200 where things slowed down. Now, ultimately... Doesn't matter. Big picture, Thing Mo, still in great shape. Still the best runner in the mid distances. This just proves that even more. But if she wanted to run a 600, go after that fastest time in history in the future, obviously she's got a real good shot at it. Might just take a little bit more even pacemaking in the beginning part of the race. Get a look now again at that final stretch. Ghoul runs really well to get second. Nia Akins in third. Rounds out the top three, but a thing, Mo, early season, she ran some miles indoors, then she's run some 400s, ran 1-800. She's getting it after it in the early season. I think we're going to see something special when she runs a 800 coming up on the outdoor season. So that's it for this race breakdown. Be sure to stay tuned to the Flow Track YouTube page for more. We'll talk to you guys next time.